We're building a ladder to the moon. That's what we're doing. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. So here we are. We've had a few changes since the last episode. Uh, we started off this water lock, which became a complete disaster. Too cold. So I built it in here. And if you look at the temperature, this is much better. Water is not freezing. There's a bit of light all around it. I put some insulated tiles. Yeah, I think this will be fine because we can start the water, uh, the liquid tepidizer, if needed. I've got it in there just in case. But at the moment, this is fine. 28 degrees and it's almost filled up uh, to there. And then we can go up here, which is what we want to do. So we've got that set. Um, I've also down here started a couple of little jobs I've wanted to do for a while. I've got this ladder now. We'll be going straight up. This pole will be going straight down. Added that into there. And I'm starting to put these insulated tiles around the outside here. I might run some water pipes and things around to sort of keep the heat going. But that is some jobs I've gotten to do. Um, and I've also gone through and looked at all of my um, priorities as well. So I dropped most things down apart from food and electricity. And also we've got some feeding going on. Oh, I've done a few things off camera. <laughs> These were going to die. They were very, very hungry. Now reproduction is going up on both of them, uh, which is good. So we should get some... So you're age 78. I'm hoping they drop an egg before they die. <laughs> you're age 78 and your age... 35, yeah. Oh, we've got an egg down here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's incubating. Ah, okay. Oh, um, we could just get an incubator going, couldn't we? Incubator. Have we researched that yet? No. Let's do some research if we have the dirt to do it. And we have one there as well, which is incubating as well. Okay, excellent. But when you feed these, I'll put a little critter feeder in. Um, they will do 1,600 watts of power, which is uh, fantastic. So, yeah, that is what we're sort of working on. Um, I also want to change these plants out so they're not being manually delivered to. So what I'm going to do, we just take a look at the sp spindly grub fruit, fertilization sulfur. Oh, so they don't need any water. Is it just these that need the water? Uh, irrigation, polluted water. These don't need any irrigation. Oh, okay. So I'm going to change these to the farm tiles. Oh, hang on a sec. Grows one. Can we use the floor tile? Grows one plant. Isn't it these ones that have the piping? Must be irrigated through liquid piping. Yeah. So I'm going to pop these in uh, all along here. I mean, I know they can go in the floor, but we might as well just do it there. Oh, does that mean I'm going to have to destroy all of these first? Darn it. It does. Okay, well, let's... Let's destroy all of those. Put these new ones in. You'll come and do that for us. Uh, I've lost it now. And then I believe these grub grubs need to go up here. Not down here. So we'll... Actually, we could grab that grub grub. We could wrangle him. And we could drop a grub grub in there. And I think that's the one that they work better with, I believe. There we go. They're starting to be removed so let's add hydroponic farm tiles in add a cobalt and then we'll replant them all again and we run our pipes and stuff uh, through here oh yeah what do they want they want polluted water so actually we could start running our pipes couldn't we our liquid pipes uh, polluted water so this is all clean water our polluted water gets pumped up to there so could we just run that <laughs> uh, somewhere oh this is a complete mess isn't it okay what we're going to do is we're going to run that over here then we're going to come up there then we're going to come up here and we're going to go to there oh am I going to get over there oh this is a right pain in the backside we'll do that yeah that'll be better and then we'll do that. We'll have one there. And then we're going to have another one here. At some point, I will redo all of my piping. But at the minute, it is what it is. And then that can go through there. And that can go through there. And then each of these will connect up like that. So that way. 
Excellent. And then we want to build that. Uh, all the way along there. So we'll add those in. Very cool, very cool. See, that could move over one, that critter drop off. We'll just add that in there. Um, and then these, yeah, these are fine. So is this spindly grub fruit? Grub grub. Wrangle. Nine. Didn't I just try and do that? Oh, I bet this has got that. <laughs> That's why. So let's get them up there. Sweeter leg incubating. We've got lots of eggs and things. We've got lots of food needing to be picked up. I put also a little fridge in here, which has got food to eat. So there we go. Look, we're going to see them coming along, grabbing the food. And then they can go up here and eat if there is enough room. But there is going to be more chairs for everybody because we're going to expand all of this once this is all going. So there is lots of work to do. Uh, lots of things are on eight. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to put all of this down to seven. Like that. And then they can concentrate on the stuff that really needs to get done, which are all of these and all of that. And then that's all on a seven. This is water coming from somewhere. Oh, it's all turning to ice. That's not coming from here, is it? Oh, it might be coming over the top of there. Look, uh, I'm going to turn that one off. I don't know why that hasn't gone through there, but you know what? I'm going to turn that off as well, and I think we're going to be okay. And then what's the priority on this? That's seven as well. So I'm going to put that one up to eight. And then what with all of that, I think we'll get some stuff done. Oh, I paused the game. <laughs> we'll get some stuff done reasonably quickly. The only problem down here is actually all the... All the nice liquids at the top. All the brines over there. There's some brine here. I should be filtering that. But, do you know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to get them to... Get them to do this. And then we'll be fine. Then we'll replant them all again. Has he been... Oh, there we go. They're going to wrangle him. Yes. You're going to drop him up here. Yes. And then I'm thinking that these might also need to go into farm tiles, which is what I was told. So I think once this is done, we'll convert those to farm tiles. And then the grub grub can do things with them and get stuff done. So that should be good. What are you waiting for to build these out of? Don't tell me they need something we haven't got. No, it's fine. Whoa. Okay. Get building. Well, there we go. That didn't take too long. They've got all those built up. I know, like I said, I know you can put them in the floor. But, yeah, we'll have them. You're struggling to be... Oh, that was the other thing. I was struggling for oxygen. Um, I'll have a quick look at that in a second. There we go. Yeah, we're going to remove these plants up here, I think. So what I'm going to do as well, then, is I'm going to wrangle you. And I'm going to wrangle... You, grub grub, grub grub, wrangle you, which means I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to turn that off. And they should all get put into this one here. What's that set to? I'm going to leave that on two and I'm going to put this on one. And we're going to get one in there as well and see whether they will interact with these once they're done. Oh, look, we've got that extra one over there. Oh, I really want to just swap those over, but no, that'll do. That'll do. We'll leave it like that. That's fine. You get mangling. Oh, they're going to get mangled. There we go. That. Oh, well, he's tied up anyway. <laughs> yes, yeah, so as I was saying, uh, this is now storing the food. I've also got one down here. Oh, did I not put it down here? I thought I did because this was getting filled up, but actually it looks okay. I will leave it as it is. Uh, let's have a look at our blueprints. Slickster? What? A Slickster lava. Oh, my goodness. That could just be fantastic. Oh, hiccup. Excuse me. That could be fantastic. Um, if we had a Slickster lava somewhere, we could start making... We could start making oil over here, which would be really random because there isn't any oil over on uh, Uzilla. On Trevino, we've got access to oil reservoirs and all sorts of things. Joya seeds. I don't know whether it's worth the hassle because you can come over here and start doing that. So... Shame it's not an egg. An egg would have been much easier. Alright, let's take it anyway. You're going to float around. <laughs> Where are we going to put you? 
because otherwise it's going to make a mess. Um, I could just dig down here. I'm going to just put this on a nine because I really want this to be done. Um, yeah, let's do that. So come and dig that for me. Then I'm going to stick a door on there with a couple of blocks above. And then we'll put a critter drop-off in here as well. That'll have to go down there. You'll be able to walk in. Yeah. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, you really need to get planting my plants, please, as well. I want to plant these, and then I'll do these up here. Hey, you've escaped! Wrangle! And then you can be dropped off in here. Don't be wandering around. I want to see what it does to my bog bog plants. Hey, cheeky. And then we can just dig these up as well. So, And also, ah, oh, Sweetle. Uh, yeah, let's put a Sweetle in both as well. We'll wrangle you. And we'll wrangle you. Yeah. And then we'll add, add this. I don't know why I turned this off in the first place. We'll add them back into here anyway. So we'll add that into there. So we'll put that as two. That as three. Yeah, we might have to start moving things around a bit. But we'll see how it goes anyway. Oh, our water's worked. Look, it's all come around here and filled these up. So that is good. Now you're digging over here. Oh, how's the oxygen? It's just... Ceiling collapsed. Did it? Really? I don't think it did. I just think you're making things up. Uh, yeah, we're getting better with the oxygen again. Okay, that's fine. Not too worried about that. Thank you very much. Get all that done. Uh, I'll put that on 9 as well. Otherwise, we're going to end up with... Right, what's the matter with you? Oh, irrigation. I didn't run the uh, thing over to here, did I? Let's do that. There we go. Oh, these have all been planted. Fantastic. So they will start growing. And then hopefully we'll get our... Uh, we'll get our critters in. Oh, here he goes. Oh, look, he did something. Look. He's like sucking it. He sat on top of it. Oh, can I actually find the find the bog bucket? Here we go. So does it have some sort of trait? Germs? I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering whether that'll be something that we'll see more once the plant has grown a bit more. Oh, we've got a sweetle in there as well. So that maximum, of, and we've got a sweetle in here. Look, he's doing something as well. He's fiddling with the plants. So we should see, I'll go down a bit like this, bog buckets, growing 3%, sweet all tending. Ah, oh, there we go. What about these over here? These have been fiddled with the, by the other one. Uh, bog bucket growing. Yeah, so maybe we're going to start seeing these growing a bit quicker. That is the idea. Well, now that's going, um, I'm going to destroy all of these and put these into farm tiles. Zip. Because then we can do the same with that as well. Excellent. How are we going down here? Good. So what do we want to drop off down here? We want to drop off a Slickster. We only ever want one because we've only got one. We'll make it a nine. And where is he? There he is. What? We can't wrangle him? Why the heck can't we wrangle him? What? What's this here? I can't actually click on it. It looks like an egg. But it's not showing up on the thing. Uh, let's sweep it. Apparently I can. Oh, he's a flying one. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Isn't there a different thing for a fly? Airborne critter bait. Attracts. Yes. That's what we want. Uh, where can that go? That can go right there. Select bait. Phosphorus. I'm assuming that is what he's going to like. Uh, slicks the lava. Diet carbon dioxide. Well, we'll make it and we'll see. Uh, let's have a quick look at our duplicate skills. We've got quite a few skills here to be handed out. So... Let me just go through and assign these. And what I'm going to try and do is spread out some of the tasks that we've got without getting anybody going too high. 
at the moment. Okay, I've given most of them either carrying, strength, or digging. We're going to keep a few points back uh, in case we need them at some point in the future. So let's see what happens with this guy here. Oh, it's been made. Okay. Phosphorus bait. I don't think that's what we need, you know, to grab this guy. I don't think he's going to get grabbed. Because he's, like, right in front of it. And it's disappeared. What the heck? How the heck do I wrangle these slicksters? Okay, apparently, if you do use the critter drop-off here, it will do it. Auto wrangle surplus... Apparently, this is the way to do it, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do it and see what happens. We're also going to put in here a, oh, no. What? Oh, have you, is there water in these? These don't need irrigation. Sulfur. Atmosphere, air pressure, body temperature. So how come that has all come out? Ah, oh, have I destroyed some pipes? Oh, I'm a bonehead. That's what I've done. Exactly. I've destroyed some pipes. <laughs> oh, Biff of the bonehead. It's what you've come to expect. It happens. It's life. Just mop all of that up. Please don't miss any. We'll get rid of all of that. Right, I was going to put in a grooming station. That's what I was going to do. So we'll pop a grooming station in here as well. And then we'll see if we can turn this into something that we can do something with the slicksters we'll see what happens and then up here we are going to put farm tiles just the basic bog standard farm tiles there we go all the way along there and then we'll replant those and they should start growing we've got 126,000 food food certainly isn't a problem at the moment so that is good and yep yeah, i'll reconnect this one back up again although that yeah that's fine because that's a farm tile so yep yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, our bathrooms aren't going to work, are they? Whoops. There we go. All of these are done. Copy the settings. Pop that on there. These are all planted. And then we just want to make sure we keep some sulfur down here as well. 1,000 in there. Let's make it 2,000. There we go. And we'll set that on a 7. That'll be fine. Then I've got some nearby. Excellent. Well, if we ever see the slickster down here, we'll find out what happens. That'll be good. These are going to go soon. Uh, let's have a look at our walls and things. How are we doing up here? This is fine. I want to get up to the surface. We are doing this absolutely 100%. So at the minute... Why was I digging this through here? Because <laughs> that would have bypassed all of this. They're going up here, through there, and then up to here. Uh, with this, we can all just ignore. This is all turned off. I think we've got hydrogen, lots of hydrogen up here. We probably could do with making a bit more. Let's just put that back on again, just to try and keep the oxygen going. And then eventually we will set up a pump to deal with all the hydrogen and stuff. Oh, there we go. Look, bog buckets. One of them had grub, grub, rub. Excellent. Grub, grub, rub. And that's our sweet or tending. Fantastic. I don't know if there's any figures on how much quicker that's life cycle 6.6 .6. anyway i know it i know it increases the speed of them so he's got his head stuck right in there you show it who's boss brilliant oh here we go look these guys are starving again my bad so that means look <laughs> they're not producing any electricity which is not very good so yeah we need to turn this thing on again they should pop over for a little bit of food there we go so now you're hungry, and uh, not hungry anymore, and then we'll have some more delivered, and this one will come and get some, which will be good. There we go. Sometimes, though, the same person gets it, which is slightly annoying, but we'll have to sort of see how that goes. There should be a way of automating that, but I'm not entirely ju uh, sure just yet. So critter trap incubator, fish trap critter sensor. Critter trap, is that what we're... Incubator critter trap. Living critter, single use, missing resource plastic, darn it, incubator, refined metal, darn it, that is something else we need to get into as well. Right, while our food thing's going, I am going to remove all of these. Yeah, what I'm thinking of doing, we've got all this hydrogen coming up here, is we could get a hydrogen generator in here. I think that might be a good idea. Let's just remove some of these extraneous tiles that we have around here. 
and power we could literally set it up right up here couldn't we so what are we looking for oxygen we need ourselves a pump so we're gonna have a gas pump i mean if we pop it up a little bit higher maybe there just check there's no this is all igneous rock so that's fine and then we're gonna want a nope this one gas pipe coming out of that so if we go this way and then we want a gas filter so we want that going that way and then we're going to say please filter out any hydrogen which is going to come out that way anything else can just get pumped down here that's fine and then we can pop in here our hydrogen generator which will go there our wire will connect there, which is fantastic. Got a bit of extra wire we don't need. Let's get rid of that. Um, and that's it, really. And then we just pop our pump. Oh, let's be careful here. Our pump into there. And that will give us a little bit more power. You probably can't reach all of that, can you? We go like that. You should be able to reach it all. And that's all on a nine, so that will probably get done quite quickly. We've only got nine beds out of ten. Really? Has somebody not been sleeping in a bed? Eight. Oh, I bought people over here and just not giving them beds. That's, like, really bad. Well, I'm doing apologising about that. Uh, let's just pop a couple more beds in there and make that a bedroom. Whenever you're ready. Then you can sweep up all the other stuff. Oh, yeah. Wires are breaking because of the amount of power we've got going through them. <laughs> oh, grub fruit preserves. 4,800k cows. Curative tablets. Do you know what? Let's just slow down a minute. If we were over here... Oh, we haven't made a printer pod over here. If we'd done that, we could start, like, popping out some of this food over here. Yeah, let's do one thing at a time. Let's uh, let's take the food. Thank you very much. We will take the food. Print the food. Take the food. Lock up your food. Excellent. Oh, how are they doing now? Let's have a look. Yay, 1600. There we go. That's what we want. Excellent. Plenty of power. Okay, so they're getting it done with this, which is good. Let's add another wiring. We're going to have to upgrade our wiring system at some point. Uh, because, yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Uh, unbreathable gas, hydrogen. And hopefully I've got those the right way around. We'll soon find out once they wire those up. It's all a nine, so that won't be long. Oh, we're so close to the surface. Uh, what I do need to get down here, which I'm thinking of putting in maybe up around here somewhere, just sort of out of the way, is under refinement. We need a rock crusher. So power, heat. Do you know what? We need heat. Oh, it's too big. Um, I'm going to expand that room over there. Like we haven't really got... I just want to plonk it down somewhere so we can benefit from the heat. Uh, I'm just going to plonk it down here. That will do. And then we'll wire that up. There we go. Like that. Uh, also, what I'd like to do is add in a few more airflow tiles. Just where we've got some of this hydrogen here. Uh, we'll add another one there. That's got a ladder going through. See, this has got all hydrogen caught in here. So I'm going to put that there. That would be my front doorbell. <laughs> I'm going to put that one there. And then hopefully that will just help move it all up a little bit easier. See, little bits like this are annoying. But yeah, anyway. Oh, there we go. The last power wire going in. And yes, we did get it set up correctly, which is fantastic. Oh, so that's going to give us some more power. I've turned this sublimation station off because it was over pressurizing this but hopefully with that much hydrogen up there that's mostly what's going to be going through yeah now see i don't know whether that is now wasting all the excess hydrogen that's getting pumped in there it looks to me like it is like this is filled up mm. yeah it's definitely just sucking it all up it's meant to be 100 grams a second, and that's just going. That's just gone. So I'm going to put in here valve, and hopefully we can set that at 100 grams a second. Um, there we go. So let's just have a look at that. 1,100 grams a second, and see how that goes. So these should be little packets of 500 grams. What? 1,000 grams. What? 
Okay, so that was far too high. Uh, let's try 10 grams a second. <laughs> yeah. Might even need to be lower. One gram a second. Soon it should burn through that. And we just got so... Ooh, we've got something nasty there. Look. So I think we've probably burned through the hydrogen we've got up here already. <laughs> uh, pipe blocks. That's good. That's what I want. Still looks like it's putting through some. <laughs> Put it on zero. <laughs> Is that going to work? Yeah, there's probably a way of getting this all going much better. Look, there we go. It's, we've got rid of now all the... Now it's just looping in a cycle. So this is where automation would come in. So that's basically going to burn through that in a second. We'll just let that carry on. We'll get plenty more hydrogen, don't worry. But that's where our rock crusher can come in. Because we can start making some of this. So we can get our automation stuff. And we need refined metal of some sort. So we could just refine... Find some of that and see how that goes. And then we could get some of our sensors going so this sort of thing just isn't running all the time. No power. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. What about you guys down here? Oh, okay. Sort of hungry, sort of not too bad. Okay, that's good. Well done, Lyra. You punch that machine. Get some nice refined cobalt for us as we seem to have quite a lot of that. And then maybe we can get some sort of sensor set up. Could you finish off the pumping of the thing? Please, just so we can get a little bit. Oh, there we go. We've got some. Cool. Okay. Critter sensor, wattage sensor, and a hydro sensor. That's for liquid. So you know what that means, don't you? But you actually need to do a bit more research to get the sensor that we want. Which is going to be all the way down here. There we go, gas element sensor. We'll add that into the research and we'll get that when we get it. Uh, I'm going to put that back down to a seven. You work on that when you want to. But are we nearly at space? We are nearly at space. Our water lock is doing okay. Let us build these last couple of three or four tiles to get ourselves into space. I think we probably need to get up to about there. And then that will be absolutely fantastic. Oh, I'm on pause. No wonder everybody was stood still looking at each other. <laughs> oh, we've broken through the surface. Now we just need somebody to get up there. Hold your breath. What's the oxygen looking like here? So we're going to lose a load of hydrogen up there. Well, just what we've gathered here. The rest won't go through. That'll be fine. Then we can start digging this out and we'll get a nice big hydrogen pool up here. Oh, there's hydrogen. Everywhere. Hydrogen, hydrogen... Yeah, not as much as I thought. Oh, there we go. Do we need to go even higher? Okay, we need to go higher. Come on, quick, before it's bedtime. Let's go up to there. Who's going to do it for us? Maybe I'll just get somebody to walk on the surface of the asteroid. <laughs> so that's a vacuum, but this has got... Yeah, teeny tiny amounts of hydrogen floating around. Come back. You have a job to do. Oh, here we go. Is this who it's going to be? Nails. Come on, nails. Can I just get nails to, like, walk over here? Does that not count as being outside? I'm oh, sure we get, like, a... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You. Move to here. What? How high do we need to go <laughs> to, to get the achievement? We're building a ladder to the moon. That's what we're doing. Oh, it's downtime. I'm not going to stress them out to get them to build the thing. We'll just <laughs> let them do it in the morning. Oh, I've expanded some of these rooms here now as well. Now we've got a little bit more space. We'll do that. We'll add this a bit bigger too. And yeah, they've got somewhere to sit when they want to eat. Uh, what have we got? Let's have a look. Choose a blueprint. Coal. That would be quite handy. We could just run a coal generator because we don't want any more people. We really do not. Yay, 1,600 watts each, but the blimmin... Does that mean none of it is going into here? Oh, what? Wire, nine. Come and fix that wire. Somebody. Do we have nobody that's able to do that? Yellow alert. What? That's why we're not getting any power. Oh, well, that's like a flipping pain in the backside, isn't it? I'm going to deconstruct that. 
and just rebuild it again. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man, we're going to have to look at our power system. Everybody's up here holding their breath, doing the building. Do we seriously have to go that high up? <laughs> okay, we've got some... Yeah, we've got the automation stuff. We've got some extra food stuff as well. Come on, Joshua. Come on, Joshua. Move to here. Yes! Surface <laughs> breach. We've done it. Ah, uh, we've breached the surface of our rocky prison. I should be careful. The region is extremely inhospitable and I could easily lose resources to the vacuum of space. My duplicates have done the impossible. You can pause the game and read that if you wish. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Do appreciate all of your assistance and help that you've been giving me. And I will see you all very soon for the next one. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.